There's so many things to talk about. I mean, sport is a very big field, and it's a field with a lot of interesting twists and turns to it. But probably the uh, story of the last month has been the Ernie Harwell um, firing uh, after, what, 30? 30, 30, 31 years. 31 years uh, of broadcasting the Tiger Games. Why do you think the... Uh, firing of a sportscaster, which, you know, um, no ill intents at the time, but by most people pay attention to the players, not uh, a sportscaster. What is it about Ernie Harwell that generated this massive response? Certainly part of it has to do uh, with longevity. He's been around for years and years and years, and, you know, the medium that we're working in here with Hometown Magazine and that, that I have a chance to work with with our sports team, uh, in Flint and Genesee County and in Metro Detroit is the visual medium of television but the bridge was radio okay. and radio for years and years was for many people who either couldn't afford TVs when TVs came into play or before TV even came into play radio was uh, a way for people to follow their local teams and and the affinity that different regions have with their respective college or pro teams or high school teams is I think unique um, to sports mm -hmm. in that sports has allowed people to shuck the drudgery of what you know what can be drudgery of life sometimes the the rough day at the office or the rough day you know at the plant or whatever it might be and the and it gives them a chance to be young again as kids we have that ability that with the opportunities to uh, to us uh, to go out and play ball or play you know whatever sport it might be and not everybody plays not everybody embraces sports as kids but many many people do and so it's kind of a throwback to our youth. And Ernie Harwell was, and is still, that window to our youth for many people. Uh, I think it's neat. Um, now, radio is still, I think, a very effective force. Um, I listen, I'm, I'm not a big sports uh, fan, but I do follow the Pistons. And I, it, as often as not, I listen to the game on the radio. Um, because either I'm in the car or I'm doing something. And one of the problems with watching television is you can't do anything. And, you know, if you've got the radio on, you can still be doing something. Yeah. And uh, now with the Pistons, Blaha is both radio and television. D does Harwell do just radio, or does he also do the television broadcast? Just does the radio for WJR. And uh, even George Blaha's duties now have been trimmed to some extent. And he's not doing both the radio and, and TV on nights where the Pistons are on TV. He used to do simulcasts. Mm -hmm. But uh, for, er for Ernie, it's always, while he's been with the Tigers, just been radio. Now, a lot of people will, will remember back to 1951, before he was with the Tigers, mm -hmm. uh, the shot heard around the world for sports fans, baseball fans, Bobby Thompson's home run in the 51 playoff game, uh, it, uh, the Giants against the Dodgers. And Ernie did the TV coverage of that. Now, the radio version is what's most famous because TV was not in anywhere yeah. near the number of households yeah. that is now, it is now and the radio was in then. But Ernie, while with the Tigers, has always been on radio and when you're out working in the yard, when you're out, when we were kids playing baseball in the summer, we have the radio going mm -hmm. and when a big play would happen, we'd stop and listen to the radio. Yeah. Uh, so radio for Ernie has been his voice, his uh, avenue to call a game while with the Tigers. Is this just nostalgia? I mean, there was this, um, uh, you know, massive reaction. I mean, at a time when the economy's in trouble and we're on the verge of war in the Middle East and, uh, you know, we have a new governor taking office in Lansing who's cutting budgets and things. I mean, there's all these very real, powerful things happening in the world. And yet, for three or four days, Ernie Harwell was the story, at least here in Michigan. That's because well, I, all those things are negative. You know, the, the war is something we, we don't really want to think about. It's frightening. It's scary to us. The economy is also scary in a lot of ways, especially in our community uh, and, the, and the Michigan community because our economy seems to be so fragile. But Ernie is something that reminds us of good. And, and it's disappointing to see someone who 
never hurt anyone, who has always been someone that has been a great representation of the Tigers, mm -hmm. has been a great representative of WJR, and for us has been kind of our voice of summer. When we think of summer, we think of Tiger games for a lot of fans, um, and when we think of Tiger games, we think of Ernie Harwell and, and vice versa. And we couldn't understand. We can understand how war happens sometimes mm -hmm. because we, we, with all of our different personalities and different um, uh, region, regional and uh, geopolitical feelings and, and differences, we understand how, how that happens. And we understand how our economy sometimes can go into a slump. But we can't understand how someone could do something, what, what seems to be so mean and so... Uh, so bad to someone who's so good. Well, let's take a minute and go out to the field and get some of the reaction. Um, Drew Hahn, who is uh, uh, one of our producers, uh, has gone out to the field to do that. But first, uh, we're going to come back in a minute and, and, and get some of the reaction that Drew did. But first, uh, we'll be back after just this uh, couple of announcements. <laughs> 